Hey, this is Tim bringing you words of grace today from our dining room, and uh, Pepper's going to help us with our next knot in our playlist on love. Love is not provoked is the next one, and that word provoked in the original has the root of sharp. Uh, love is not get sharp really fast. We have found that, like a porcupine, Pepper is discovering everything with her teeth. She can't do anything without burying her teeth at it. Uh, and, and to the chagrin of our fingers and our faces. Uh, she's getting better though, she's getting better. But she's a dog. She's a loving dog. She's trying to not be sharp. Um, but are you, right? Humans should know better. In our relationships, it should take a long time uh, before we get the claws out and the fangs. Uh, this is not the way New Yorkers <laughs> usually react to problems. Someone steps in front of the line and all of a sudden there's profanity and people are threatening each other's lives. It's not loving. According to 1 Corinthians 13, in our relationships, we need to love one another. And that means not being easily provoked, uh, taking our time before we go to the offensive mode, rather try to deal with the situation in a, a peaceful, calm manner that does not bring forth blood. Love is not quickly sharpened, right, Pepper? Uh, I would say a couple quick suggestions. Uh, pick your battles, right? You're not sharpened about every little thing. If you are, then that's not loving. Uh, so think carefully in this relationship. How many times have I brought something up? And then also don't battle in your battles. If you do bring it up, uh, walk carefully through the rules of communication uh, to uh, speak calmly, uh, speak at the right time, right place, not in public, uh, and with the right tone. Our nonverbal communication is so important and speaks louder than words. Um, graciously, kindly, in how we uh, interact with the problem. And then we focus on the problem and take care of it without getting sharp. So thankful that Christ was the one that was pierced through uh, for our transgressions uh, when he had more than reason to provoke. So this is the love of Christ we're talking about that we can emulate through Christ living through us. And I trust his love is your love as well today.